Your Okoda from Patients Association for Distal Myopathies, PADM, Japan speaking about Wilog. User a generated accessible map for everyone. PADM is the Patients Association for Distal Myopathies, which include progressive diseases such as HEDM, DMRV, GNE, myopathy, myoshi myopathy and others. That is why we decided to use Wheelog to try to solve the problems wheelchair users are facing. PADM is the Patients Association for Distal Myopathies, which include progressive diseases such as HEDM, DMRV, GNE, myopathy, myoshi myopathy and others. That is why we decided to use Wheelog to try to solve the problems wheelchair users are facing. 4.5 cm or 1.8 inches is the height of a step I can't go over by myself in my wheelchair. I was a healthy person 15 years ago and I never imagined that I would someday have to deal with the inconvenience of being in a wheelchair. 4.5 cm or 1.8 inches is the height of a step I can't go over by myself in my wheelchair. I was a healthy person 15 years ago and I never imagined that I would someday have to deal with the inconvenience of being in a wheelchair. In fact, in Japan alone, there are over 2 million wheelchair users, but we do not see them around much because they are confined to their homes. Therefore, our mission and vision is to ease the anxiety of wheelchair users and enable them to have an active life. In fact, in Japan alone, there are over 2 million wheelchair users, but we do not see them around much because they are confined to their homes. Therefore, our mission and vision is to ease the anxiety of wheelchair users and enable them to have an active life. One of the ways of dealing with this problem is to create an interactive user-generated map that will allow wheelchair users to clearly see accessibility in public spaces. It will allow us to share our experiences and create a virtual guidepost by which we can explore the outside world. One of the ways of dealing with this problem is to create an interactive user-generated map that will allow wheelchair users to clearly see accessibility in public spaces. It will allow us to share our experiences and create a virtual guidepost by which we can explore the outside world. In March 2015, we got the grand prize of the Google Impact Challenge and received approximately $450,000 in funds. There are many tools for gathering barrier-free information on the web, but what Wilog offers is real-time, real-access information generated by the users. In March 2015, we got the grand prize of the Google Impact Challenge and received approximately $450,000 in funds. There are many tools for gathering barrier-free information on the web, but what Wilog offers is real-time, real-access information generated by the users. Users can use the track log to record the places they visited and they can also share information about spots in 10 categories. Bathroom, elevator, parking, shop, other, station, lodging, ramp, barrier and leisure. With Wheelog, users can request and post information about places they are interested in. Users can use the track log to record the places they visited and they can also share information about spots in 10 categories. Bathroom, elevator, parking, shop, other, station, lodging, ramp, barrier and leisure. With Wheelog, users can request and post information about places they are interested in. Wheelog presents accessible routes and spots on the same page. We focus on movement, actually, Wheelog is the only app in the world which features a track log. Wheelog presents accessible routes and spots on the same page. We focus on movement, actually, Wheelog is the only app in the world which features a track log. This video features an example of the positive impact Wheelog has had on its users. This video features an example of the positive impact Wheelog has had on its users. This information can be of great value for people who cannot go outside on a daily basis, but also for foreign tourists with disabilities. I would like us to collaborate with other countries, so we could see more people in wheelchairs wherever we go. 
This information can be of great value for people who cannot go outside on a daily basis, but also for foreign tourists with disabilities. I would like us to collaborate with other countries, so we could see more people in wheelchairs wherever we go.